Industry Insider coming to you from Big Sound 2013. We're here at the Judas Wright Centre and uh, joining me, Peter Shalou, Chair of uh, Face the Music. How are you? Yeah, I'm really well, thanks, Ben. Uh, it's good to talk to you. Yeah, nice to bump into you on the... Yeah, I've been to the uh, Face the Music quite a few times, but I've actually never met you before. No, no. I'm sorry, sorry about that. Scurrying around the bottom corridors of the Art Centre, that's yeah, probably why. I keep uh, infiltrating your events. No, it's I great to have you involved. Oh, thank and, you very much. You know, you're very much part of the music community in Melbourne and we really appreciate you and oh, everything you do. Oh well, thank you very much. Now, um, uh, we, uh, we just I just bumped into you with Paddy Donovan in there, and uh, but we better have a chat about Face the Music because uh, I, I saw the uh, press release yesterday with uh, Matt and Michael Kudinski. Yeah, well, Face the Music's happening again. It'll be number six, yeah. and it's in November at the Art Centre in Melbourne, the 15th and 16th. So we're putting together the program at the moment, and so we've just gone out with the second announcement with Matt and Michael kind of at the table together for the first time in a public interview. So that could be quite interesting. Uh, yeah, I think so, absolutely. You know, father and son and all that heritage of 40 years of the business, but you really do get a sense that that company's looking forward now, don't you? It's really about the future. Well, that's, it's probably, out of all the conferences I've seen in the last few years, that's probably one of the biggest eye-openers for an announcement I've ever seen is to have those two guys together uh, uh, yeah, that's it's really a great announcement. So well done, congratulations on that. And must have, how how hard was that to put together? Oh well, look, you know um, they're a very important part of the Melbourne music fabric, and of course we've been talking to them, and yeah, it's great that they've agreed to uh, to uh, you know speak on stage to the people. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be one hell of an interesting uh, chat. Now, what else is happening with bass and music? What are, what are the highlights? What can we expect? Can you? <laughs> Can you, uh, can you give us anything that maybe you haven't announced yet or maybe a little bit of a hint as to what's uh, going on? Look, we've got four or five internationals coming over to speak to our people okay. and um, we've also just announced this week Jamie Farkas. Yep. She's the head of music for Vice International. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, across all the companies from the magazine to the websites, and Noisy, um, with presence in a lot of different markets. So we're really pleased to have Jamie here and she'll be talking to us, to our artists particularly, about what it means to be a global artist a true global artist and be able to kind of work across many markets on a global scale. Yeah. And we all know that now with the internet, you can have an international presence pretty easily uh, for your music just through websites and Facebook and so on. But what does it mean to really crack that egg, the egg of the world, and have, uh, and have that all available to you? So it'll be interesting to hear from her uh, American perspective on you know, some good things that our, our guys can be doing here. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Really looking forward to it. Now, um, uh, as with Face the Music, I've, I've noticed uh, you're getting a lot more of the, uh, well, the, the festival promoters in. AJ was great last year, and um, are, you, are you targeting any more of those guys this year? Uh, look, the, well, look, yeah, just wait and see who we get along. Like, there'll be 150 speakers. But I think the important thing to think about with our conference is we're not an international gateway to the world, really. We're not an export gateway like uh, Big Sound is, where you can um, perform and showcase to the international uh, industry and, and pick up gigs or agents or uh, other support team members overseas. I think it's really about skills development for our, for the uh, for our bands yeah, yeah. and uh, also for those people who are working in the music industry. Chance to get together. Melbourne deserves a big get together like Big Sound too, you know. And um, so, you know, what some of the new things we're doing this year include, um, we're, we're bringing a new um, creative development stream in. So you come to these conferences and you talk a lot about the business of, of music as, as we know. Um, so what about getting in there and talking about the actual making of music and, and getting some instruments on stage, getting together in small groups, get, get some music played at these things. So we're working with the Art Centre and they've got some great facilities in there, um, mm -hmm. studios and you know, digital labs and so on, and we're working with them to get um, you know, contemporary music people into the Art Centre facilities hearing from some experts and you know actually making some music yeah. that's pretty exciting one thing i was i was discussing the the whole uh, music conference thing the other day and face the music came up in conversation and one thing i'd really be interested to know uh, you may not even i'm not too sure but um, over the process of the of the last 6 years um, have you seen have you seen an increase and have you seen a change in the way that artists are are, are, con are conducting themselves business wise uh, setting themselves up as a band, setting themselves up uh, for touring and, and creating music and, 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 you know, just getting it together in the right ways without, without having to take 
one step forward and two steps back. Is, is, can you see that effect from the conference? Yeah, look, I think that's a fair comment. And, um, you know, obviously what we're in the middle of is this huge period of change and flux. Mm. And so you've, we've had the uh, startup of a lot of more uh, service organisations, service businesses. So an artist might not sign to a big label anymore or a big record company, but they might work with a range of kind of boutique service providers that can handle things like their management, their publicity, or else uh, you know, do their publishing for them, try and get some income from things like Sync. So I think that um, the business is getting a bit more savvy mm -hmm. and it's not relying on old dinosaur structures like major record companies anymore. As for artists themselves, I think there's always a demand at conferences like Face of Music and also Big Sound to cover the basics so that at a local and state level, you're, people need to talk about kind of the fundamentals of setting up their own business arrangements, working in a partnership within a band, say, mm -hmm. When's the right time to sign an agreement for a manager or for a publicist or a, even for a recording contact, uh, contract? So um, I think there's a need for that um, early kind of stage of business development. And I heard uh, Millie Milgate from Sounds Australia this morning talking about this kind of issue and she, her point is that there is a really great infrastructure for artists and for the um, you know, grassroots music uh, community now here in Australia. It starts at your local community in your state level where um, you know, opportunities like Face the Music or Big Sound might happen where you've got Music Victoria or its equivalents in other states and there are programs you can get involved in, learn more, become more savvy and then at the national level with Sounds Australia re helping you kind of represent yourself in other markets, you know, there really is a, some, some kind of good supportive help there for you. So I think that um, all of that added up I think that artists are more savvy now. Mm -hmm. The information's there for them and they've kind of consumed the bits that um, make sense to them. We still need to provide that entry level information for um, artists and people working behind the scenes who are just starting up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, um, you know, just kind of plug people into the support matrix that's, that's there, you know. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, uh, now, what are the dates of Face the Music? Oh, forgive me. I've, uh, that's all right. Okay, I'll, I'll give it to you. So we're back in November, mid-November. So it's Friday the 15th yep. and Saturday the 16th. Yep. That's actually the start of Melbourne Music Week mm. that week. So a lot of great yeah, music happening. It's a, it's a massive now. week. That, uh, well, it's a pretty big month, actually, it's uh, a great, in general. Great, yeah. great month of music. Uh, Ormi's happening downstairs and we're happening upstairs. Yep. So if you come to face the music, you're going to be there with, you know, maybe over a thousand music industry people from here, mm -hmm. uh, from all around Australia, from Melbourne and uh, also from overseas. So it's a great time to kind of network, get in there, learn some more skills and yeah. uh, get amongst it. And the other, um, and ticket prices as well for people that want to uh, find out the ticket price, how much are they? Um, yeah, well, you know, Face Music's not for profit, so we're keeping the tickets right down. Mm -hmm. So you can get in there from 40 bucks. Yep. 40 bucks, the most expensive great ticket two days. is 90 bucks. So somewhere in that range, yeah. you're gonna be able to get in there. All right, and it's uh, facemusic.com.au? That's it, facemusic.org.au. Oh, .org.au. And uh, we'll, we'll keep posting all the latest uh, speaker and um, workshop uh, information on there. So Yeah, fantastic. We'll all right, well, I'm looking forward to coming back again, and uh, hopefully we can, um, hopefully we can uh, yeah, get a lot of people on camera and, and, and maybe pick their brains a little bit off the panel side of things and, uh, and get you some more great, fantastic content from well, you. It's certainly great to have you involved again, so that's a done deal, mate. All right, thank, thank you. you very much, Peter. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, it's Peter here from Face the Music, uh, not from Face the Music, Peter from Face the Music at Big Sound 2013. Yeah. I'm getting myself confused. I think it's time to go and have a beer, mate. It's let's been a long it. day. You want to go do it? Oh, All right, let's, let's go. go.